Welcome to the Shortwave Radio channel and uh, once again just want to talk about this uh, Kiwi SDR website. This is an aggregator of all the Kiwi SDRs that are available on the around the world to listen to shortwave. A uh, great place. There's a lot of receivers to test out and depending on what you want to listen to, you can actually use this website for that. It is definitely a nice place for um, anything that is uh, radio around the world. So a lot of people, you know, oh, well, it's cheating. You shouldn't use this. You shouldn't do that. I don't agree with that. These are radios that are online. There's still radios at the other end. But they are very useful for all sorts of things. Uh, for amateur radio use, for example. If you're, you know, calling CQDX and you want to know if your signal's in, you know, going into a certain area of the world. Well, these are cool because you can actually tune a couple of them and see if, for example, you're North America and you're calling CQDX Europe. You can check out if, you know, European SDRs pick up your signal. You know that you're not calling CQ in vain. The um, other th uh, very useful things about this is, for example, a lot of broadcasts on shortwave are very local. Some of them are for just, you know, a country or some of them are, you know, just have one or two times a day they broadcast, but the time and the frequency to use means it's impossible to hear where you live. Well, you can use one of these online receivers and uh, check out, you know, if you can hear them on some of the local SDRs in the area. Now, of course, uh, if there are special broadcasts from, you know, somewhere you learn of a, a special broadcast from a, a, a country or you know, whatever area, and you're not sure, you're, you don't hear it where you live, and you want to know, is is it because of propagation? Is it because it's not happening? Well, once again, you can use one of these SDRs and uh, choose one low, you know, close to where actually this is happening. So this is very easy to use. Um, I'm going to post the link to the map um, on, the, um, on the description below the video. So basically you have the possibility to zoom in on the map, move the map around if you want to listen to, you know, whatever. So you choose, say I want to go in Europe and choose one. Uh, here's one in, uh, here we go, here's Poland. Here we got, there's one here in uh, Warsaw, Poland. So you click, it brings you the page where the receiver is. And then you click and you open and you're going to start hearing the audio and you can tune around so you can remove a panel like this one for example so you go under frequency here and you choose say I want to try uh, 15 megahertz see if it hears WWV there we go We're just tuned you have the modes you can click AM mode or you have you know upper lower sideband on all of that there's even DRM capability on some of them so not hearing anything here. We could see here that there is something. So what's that? And this is some kind of digital transmission. So you can, you know, tune around, check it out. You can tune around. You can use the waterfall to see what's on and see if you can hear some of the stuff. What are these strong signals, for example? To the research topics that have there we go. So this is on people's life, but 15, also 2, 4, 5, I believe China radio. Of money, time, so and this people. is China Radio International, uh, I would guess. And, Lab, uh, and so on. So you can try different things. Uh, you can try the different transmissions. Uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, we now want to get out, you can actually go back to you know, the uh, previous can get enough map page and um, go to, of course, check out any other broadcast from any other region and so on. Uh, sometimes I take you know the online schedules, and when I see a broadcast to Asia or to Europe in English, I'll click and see if I can hear it. Uh, for example, one was uh, when I would uh, try to listen to KNLS Alaska in English. It broadcasts to Asia pretty much. So I would choose a Japanese SDR, for example, and see if I can hear it there and so on. They're a lot of fun to play with. Uh, and if you don't have a shortwave radio, want to kind of dabble into what it's all about, why not try those radios? And maybe you'll be interested in buying your own receiver. Um, I would like also to stress out that not all of them are good. Some of them are so noisy that they almost don't get anything. 
some of them are plagued with noise so if you find that one doesn't seem to be very good just switch to another one and um, check it out um, it's a lot of uh, like I said a lot of fun to to play with and um, one little trick that I have that I do here is for example when I choose one I right click and I say open link in a new tab this opens the radio in a separate tab where it still keeps the main map on the other tab that I can go back to when I use the radios and then you can just turn on so here this one is from Norway let's see if the buzzer 4625 upper sideband there we go the buzzers there there's even some Morse code so you can try that and have fun so uh, the link to the map here is in the description below the video if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and have fun tuning around with these SDRs. They're a lot of fun to play with.